The images have shocked even the French president, according to his spokesman. They were captured by a security camera inside Michel Zeckler's Paris music studio. You can see the music producer being violently beaten up by police officers. Images that were published by a French news website, Loopsider, on Wednesday night. By Thursday morning, an investigation had been opened and the police say the officers have been suspended. These images are unspeakable, extremely shocking, and as soon as I learned about them and what happened, I asked for the suspension of those police officers. In a statement on Friday, the prosecutor's office said that four officers had now been summoned and would be taken into custody to be heard by the IGPN, the internal disciplinary body of the police. Michel is still in hospital, says his lawyer. He says he was ducking away from them because he was not wearing a mask and didn't want to be fined. Of course I was scared. I had my phone in my hand. There was a policeman pointing a gun at me, hiding. What is that about? Was I armed too? Are they going to shoot as soon as they have an angle? Of course, I was afraid. I'm a man. I was afraid. The people who have to protect me are pointing their guns at me. It's unknown if the officers have attorneys. They've made no public statement. CNN affiliate BFM reports that the officer's report says they smelt marijuana when they encountered Zeckler. Michelle Zeckler's lawyer says that beyond the alleged violence he faced, her client was also nearly the victim of a miscarriage of justice, since the policeman had initially accused him of trying to take their weapons. If we didn't have these videos and if, without any pretension, I hadn't acted as I have, unfortunately my client would perhaps be under a committal order today. The investigation into what happened to Michelle Zeckler is the second one relating to allegations of police brutality opened in France this week. The other surrounds pictures taken at the dismantling of a migrant camp on Monday. Images show police chasing people down streets and a journalist being surrounded by police with batons. An investigation is underway. I would like to say to the police and gendarmes that I support them unfailingly, but the quid pro quo for this support is obviously the interior minister's demand for absolute respect for law and ethics. The two investigations come in the very week that France's National Assembly approved a controversial bill that limits the publication of images of police with the intent to cause them harm. It still needs to be approved by the Senate, but protesters have been marching against a bill that they say will make it harder to hold the police to account, with many wondering whether it is really the police that needs protecting from harm. Melissa Bell, CNN, Paris.